what's going on guys you already know what it is it's time for coffee and crypto where we sip our coffee and we talk about all things crypto i'm gonna get into the latest gaming coins that you need to have your eye on and also what's going on in the crypto world and in the metaverse on to the intro <laughs> What's going on, guys? You already know what it is. It's time for coffee and crypto. Where we sip our coffee. Let me take a sip. You see, my mouth is. <laughs> I need some coffee. Mm -hmm. mm. And we talk about all things crypto. I'm not going to hold you guys long. I just want to go over a few articles I found. The latest on crypto bubbles and some gaming coins that I think we need to be taking a look at. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm riding this thing out with you. You're riding this thing out with me. We're in this thing together. So always, always, always do your own research before putting your money or your time into anything. As you're coming in, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and then hit that bell notification so you can get notified each time I upload a new video. I appreciate it. Let's get right into it. So... I found out some interesting information on the latest Bitcoin news on Coindesk.com. Sandbox has been doing its thing, okay? I'm not even going to lie to you, but we already knew that already because we talked about what's going to go on inside of the metaverse and how that um, blends in with cryptocurrency and even NFTs. But let me show you this article I found. Where is it? I didn't even read it yet. Did I pass it already? Okay, here it is. So Bitcoin rebounds to 58K level. The sandbox raises $93 million led by SoftBank to expand its NFT metaverse. I keep telling y'all. Cryptocurrency, the metaverse, and NFTs, triple threat, y'all. They go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. They work together. They work together. They need one another, okay? So just keep your eye on all three. Put your hands in all three. Put your coins in all three to make sure that you're a part of all three so you won't miss out. Out of 7 billion people in the world, only 700,000 of us are invested and involved in the crypto community, the metaverse, and the NFT space. So this is something that we should be proud of. We are aware that we are rare and we're always invested in ourselves because if we don't do it, nobody else is going to do it, okay? So Coindesk, let's get into this article. Uh, 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 I'm so excited. Eh, eh. So it says, Bitcoin rebounds to 58K level. The sandbox raises 93 million. We know that already. So it says, first mover host speaks to the sandbox co-founder. Um, and COO Sebastian Borget for the insider look into the metaverse gaming space as the film launches Sandbox Metaverse Alpha. Global Block CEO Rufus Round shares market insights as Bitcoin rebounds from a steep sell-off. Pat Duffy and Alex Wilson, co-founders of the Giving Block, share how charities and nonprofits can utilize from crypto donations. So this is a huge thing because we know that they see... Um, so this is a video. You know what? This is... Anyway, let's talk about it. So they see that Sandbox is a part of the metaverse in gaming in Decentraland. And they see that things are moving from physical to digital. And they see that this could be a great buy-in opportunity as well as a profitability opportunity, right? So it's wonderful to see that we have people who are investing money and time into a lot of these coins and into a lot of these technologies because we know that when people start investing their money in it, they're looking to make a return. They're not just investing their money to throw their money away, right? They're looking to make a return. So we know that this is good because we're going to see some type of profit, whether it be today, tomorrow, or a year from now. I keep telling you guys, a lot of these things... Some of them may be short-term investments where you can go ahead and make your money quickly and make it back. And then sometimes others are more for the long term. I see the metaverse is more so for both short and long term, depending on how you invest your money. 
um, but I'm not a financial advisor. So this is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So enter at your own risk and always do your own research and never put in more than what you're willing to lose. But I see the metaverse and the NFTs as a short-term profit or win and also a long-term profit and when, okay? So even if we do see some dips and fluctuations throughout the market from now until whenever, don't ever be afraid when you see things in the red because we know that when things dip, we always get our chips and we buy at the dip, right? We always get our chips and we buy at the dip. We know that anytime we see things decrease, or going to the red, we know that's a wonderful buying opportunity. So I need to find out more about this. This is a video, so I don't want to get a strike or anything for plagiarism or copyright infringement. So I'll look into more than this and I'll give you guys updates. Let's take a look at some crypto bubbles. Okay, we got ETH up 2%. Okay, we got BTC. Okay, it's down at 2.1%. We got BNB up 7.1%. Solana down 6 0.4 hex down 13%. Doge is down 3.4. What is Crow up to? We're still gonna look at it on coin um market cap. We have the USDC up at 0.1%. And I keep telling you guys, even with Tether, um that I utilize USDC and then I utilize the Tether or USDT as like a savings bank. I've been telling you guys this since day one. These are what you call stable tokens. Um, and so what that is, it means that that token or that coin stays at a stable point. It means it won't really increase too much and it won't decrease too much, right? So we know the US dollar is at $1. Now, we're not going to talk about inflation. We're not going to talk about anything. We're just going to focus on the US dollar is $1. Dollar. Sometimes it might be worth 99 cents. Sometimes it might be worth a dollar and two cents or a dollar and one cents. But we know that one dollar mark, it's going to stay there for the most point, for the most part, excuse me. So I like to use that or the Tether USDT as a savings bank to hold my money because I know it won't drop any further below 99 cents and it won't rise above the dollar one or dollar two mark. Okay. Now there is there are some stable coins that have, I'm, I mean, I've seen them fluctuate, you know, go from extreme dips to extreme increases. But for the most part, these two, USDT and USDC, are stable places that I put my money in. I'm not a financial advisor, though, so just always do your own research. But this is these two are the places where I hold my money if I'm not sure if I want to withdraw right away or if I'm not sure where I want to move my money around to inside of either for my stocks or my crypto. I like to keep my money there. It's in a safe place. And depending on what platform you use, it might earn some interest, okay? So that's just a little gem, okay? So we have XRP down 8%. Y'all know my big head is always in the way. Let's move it over. We have SHIB down 13.7, ADA down 13.1%, DOT down 11.3%. And again, guys, these are awesome buy-in opportunities, okay? Never be afraid when you see the dip. Mm -mm, no, let me take a sip because y'all afraid of the dip. I'm going to take a sip, okay? Mm -hmm. Your coffee is just... Mm. Yes. I have hazelnut cream in my coffee today. Yes. And instead of using sugar, I have honey. But anyway, so never be afraid when you see some of these bubbles in the red, guys. A red always means a great buying opportunity because you're going to get it either less than what it cost before when it was in the green or less than what it cost originally. So never be afraid to look at the red bubbles. Never be afraid to see the red because we know once it goes in the red, it's going to eventually go in the green. Just look at the candles, look at the wicks, take a look at the charts just to see how things are moving and flowing. Sometimes you have extreme dips. I'm okay with extreme dips because I know that is a, another wonderful buying opportunity because I know it's going to hit that bull run pretty soon, okay? So let me move my big head over because we're going to get back to this. Top gaming tokens. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, okay? This is not financial advice though. I'm not a financial advisor. Okay, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm just saying, do your own research. 
and to write your own risk. But if you don't invest in yourself, who's going to do it? So what I'm saying is these are the top gaming tokens by market capitalization or coin market cap. Now, before I look at that, I just want to look at the top five, maybe top six. Crypto, NFTs, metaverse. Okay. We know they have play to earn gaming. You can buy virtual land. NFT is artwork where you can buy it. You can just hold it. You can sell it. You can trade it. You can mint it and make commissions continuously off of it. And then you have the digital currency or the crypto. All of these go hand in hand. We know that NFTs have been around for a while, right? NFTs aren't going anywhere. We know that crypto has been around for a while, right? Crypto isn't going anywhere. The next phase is gaming, okay? We already know gaming really has never went anywhere. It's just inside of this metaverse, we're going from the NFTs into another phase of the gaming tokens. We see it in a lot of these launches where they have the NFT gaming, play to earn. So just keep your ear and eyes open. Take a look at it, do your own research, but just keep your eyes on these top five or top six gaming tokens or any gaming token that's inside of the crypto space just to see where you can make a profit and where you can get some money at, right? So again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just for entertainment purposes only. I told you guys before, keep your eye on Ethereum. Ethereum is being used by a lot of these different um, companies or a lot of these different coins and NFT gaming and metaverse gaming places because Ethereum is a wonderful, stable blockchain. So they love using the Ethereum technology. Ethereum is what everybody uses to exchange and swap crypto, right? So keep your eye on Ethereum. Ethereum is going to be like Bitcoin. Keep your eye on Shiba Inu, okay? I told y'all by December of this year, December 31st of this year, Shiba is going to drop two zeros. I could be right. I could be wrong. Who knows? This is just the price prediction because I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment, okay? If you guys have any price predictions or any gaming tokens or any stocks or any type of crypto that you think that I should take a look at, leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to interact with you. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you can get notified each time I upload a new video. Let's take a look at these gaming tokens. Let's keep it moving. Decentraland, of course, mana is up 27.3% in the past seven days. So I like looking at seven days and looking at 24 hours. And then the current price point. So it's at $4.91. We have Axie Infinity up 2.17% in seven days, 4.62% up in 24 hours. And of course, we have Sandbox booming, booming, booming at 75.8% up in the green in seven days, up 1% total, excuse me, in 24 hours. We have Gala up at 68.67% in the past seven days and up 42% or 0.42% in the past 24 hours. They're currently at 68 cents, okay? 68 cents a piece, okay? And then, you, of course, you have engine up at 11.76 in seven days and 7.9% in 24 hours. That's at $3.74. You also have Wax and Bora, but I'm looking at my neighbor, Alice. I've been looking at Alice for maybe about six to seven months, and I have some. So I'm just saying I'm not a financial advisor, though, but just keep your eye on my neighbor, Alice, because a lot of these gaming tokens, you guys, Bakery Token, Illuvium is up at a whopping 52.98%. And again, you don't want to just look at just the green. Okay, ooh, the green, the green. Let me buy some because it's in the green. No, at least wait until it goes in the red. <laughs> okay, wait until it goes in the red. This is, Illuvium is at 1652. Once it goes in the red and it drops below this price point, buy in because that's a wonderful opportunity to buy in cheaper than what it is now. And then once it hits the um, bull point, where it's going in and accelerating back to the green, you'll be able to make a profit. We got play that. I'm loving me some play that. It's at the price point of 238. It's up 5.78% in the past seven days, up 3.64% in the past 24 hours. Keep your eye on play that. A lot of these gaming tokens, um, some people are into Alien World, up 11.11%. .11%. Up 4.59 in the 24 hours, and it's 39 cents. It's 39 cents, guys. 
Okay, and I know you guys are worried about gas fees. Because <laughs> I am too. Okay, I'm worried about gas fees for NFTs. And when I'm going through Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, Bitmap, all of these platforms. But again, they're using Ethereum. The blockchain. I'm just saying. Anyway, so just keep your eyes on these gaming tokens, guys. Even if you are not in a position where you're ready to purchase any of the gaming tokens, just add a star next to it. You know, keep your eye on it just so you can get updates and see when there is a wonderful buying opportunity, which I like to call the dipping point. And I like to get my chips and buy at the dip. You know, when I'm ready to get my chips and buy some dip, then you'll already know where you need to be and you'll already have yourself in a position. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Day. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share my videos. Come on now, help a sister out. Share my video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for coming to Coffee and Crypto. I appreciate you sticking it out with me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.